All right, so thanks for joining me in this video and episode. And what I wanna do is share with you kind of three tips to know if an options trading guru is kind of for real or knows what they're talking about. And uh, you're probably studying and uh, looking at YouTube videos, trying to buy some books and learn some options trading. And you don't know, well, should you trust this content and information? And that's what we're gonna talk about here in this episode. All right, so it's a big dilemma, and I'm gonna share with you three tips to really kind of dissect things and figure it out on your own to see if the person you're learning from, really you should be learning from, have they really managed or looked at large accounts or have they seen order flow? Have they actually you know, um, studied with people that have actually done these things and or have worked with people that are in the industry or have worked in the industry? And um, once you kind of get this idea or insight as far as the options trading goes, um, you'll never look at it the same way. So for example, if you're looking at a YouTube channel that maybe has millions of subscribers and you think, hey, this person knows what they're talking about, um, they may actually not. So I'm gonna kind of point some insights here on that. And then also same thing with some books, like you might say, hey, well, I'm gonna buy this options book. But then again, a lot of books out there, well, they're just trying to you know, make a few bucks from Amazon sales. So the reality is, is that these days there's robots generating content and people are just making videos, but they really are not in the business or industry. So I'm gonna share with you just a few quick tips. It's gonna be a quick video to really understand um, how this business works and really to know if the person you're actually looking at and uh, watching kind of makes sense and uh, really uh, knows what they're dealing with. All right, so there's three things to watch and this is basically the video is DTE, uh, if they're buying out of the money singles and cheap stocks. So let me break it down for you very quickly. A uh, person that's looking at, let's say short duration, like 10 DTE, and they're doing it with most of their account, and they're doing it with like 10 or 14 DTE or less, they probably don't have a lot of money in their account or they're trying to do fast trading or quick trading or trying to make fast money. And oftentimes, um, those people, they just don't deal with large accounts. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because with the people that I've worked with, let's say they're dealing with a five or $10 million account, they're not gonna put it in a 10 DTE. And why is that the case? Well, here's what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and give you this insight very quickly. Let's hop on over right here. Okay, so let's say I'm going into uh, a trade product. Doesn't matter what it is. Okay, let's say it's uh, Meta, Facebook, uh, whatever. Okay, well, what happens is, is most people, they've seen the options decay curve. Okay, so what they've got here is they've got this theta that is being collected, right? Now, this theta decays this way. However, what happens is you accelerate price risk. That is the give and take relationship. So people that are trading in the shorter duration, what's happening is you're concentrating all that risk in, let's say, 14 days or less. Now, would you do that with, let's say, $10 million? No, you wouldn't. You need to spread your capital at, let's say, 10 days, at 20 days, at 30 days, at 50 days, at 80 days. So when you're dealing with options, you got to spread that money in capital. You don't just put, you know, $5 million in a 10-day option. I mean, you do if you got, let's say, $200 million, but you wouldn't, you know, what I'm saying is that people showing you these things, they're not, it's not wise to concentrate your capital in one spot. So with larger accounts, that's why you wouldn't do shorter duration. Now, how would you do shorter duration if you got a large account? Well, let's say you've got 500 grand, okay? Let's say you got 500 grand. Well, of course you could take, let's say 50 grand and put it into a 14 DTE type of trade. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's just a part of that account, okay? But what I'm saying is if you've got a large account, you're not going to concentrate everything at a 14 DTE or 10 DTE. It's just not wise. Uh, what you'll no normally see is those things spread out because you need to spread the capital, spread money. Okay, so that's part one. So if you understand you don't put all your money in one spot, it's the same thing. You wouldn't put all your money in 10 DTE with the larger account sizes. So you're probably not trading a large account size if you're doing only short duration. Hmm? Makes sense, right? Okay, so that's part one. Okay, buying out of the money singles. So this is another thing that most people don't get is if you're seeing somebody that's always talking about buying out of the money singles, well, first off singles, especially if they're doing short duration, again, you have that theta decay. So this is even kind of worse off. So you're constantly losing theta or time, but if you're doing out of the money, most of those things burn out. So if I go in and let's say, again, I'm looking at buying a trade right here and let's say I'm buying a 14 DTE uh, meta position now you go in and let's say you buy this trade and we're going in for the 240 now you might say it's a 50% shot because you got a, a 50 delta you say oh I got a 50% chance no 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 because here what's happening is you also have the theta decay but you have to make up the premium so it's actually what happens with the stock is it's a, a 240 you got a 240 
plus the $6 spread. So your break even is at 246. So when you look at the 246, 245, 246, your probability of actually making money is around 31%, not a 50%. So take a look. If we go ahead and just buy this thing, okay, if we just, there it is, delayed, okay, and buy this thing, the break even on this, take a look, zoom in on it. Look at that. 246 is the break even. So your chance and what your probability you have to look at is the 246. So that means you're actually at the 246, almost 247 and a half. And that probability is only 31%. Whoa. So imagine that. So absolutely. Now all of a sudden you got a 31% chance. So that's again, what brings me to that point is that somebody that's buying out of the money singles, especially with a short duration, number one, you got a theta burn. Number two, you don't understand probabilities. Um, and that also means, yeah, they're not teaching you the right stuff. So be very careful. That just means they're just trying to, you know, do some quick change. Again, point being is, can you do it? Sure. Like, let's say you got a hundred grand, you throw a few singles in there, or you combine singles with other things. That's a different story. But I'm saying if you're only focusing on this, right? If you're only focusing on short duration, if you're only focusing or really the core focus is these out of the money singles and you don't have any other strategies in the bag, then again, you're, you're looking for a quick get rich quick thing because we know do stocks explode up yeah but they don't really explode all the way to the moon uh, most of the time i mean it's very rare so you know unlimited profit potential is not something we shoot for in the market it's it's not realistic okay and the third thing is cheap stocks if you're focusing on stuff like i mean this probably makes sense right if you're focusing on stuff that's like you know ten dollars fourteen dollars twenty dollars or the hype stuff um again could it be cool to make a videos on that? Yeah, that's fun. You know, I do that on my other channel, the Critical Charts channel. Make stuff about fun stuff, right? That's no problem. But if you're talking about trading advice, you know, dealing stuff with like penny stocks, yeah, here and there, it's okay to take part of that account. Like again, let's say you've got a hundred grand account and you take a small part of that account and maybe you take, you know, five grand into penny stocks and then you just kind of let them sit, sit, sit. And then maybe one day they just explode. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. But if you're only talking about penny stocks, you're just really looking to hype up or people trying to do a get rich quick thing. So this is a quick thing. So if you're seeing like books, YouTube channels, uh, content that's really honing in only on penny stocks, um, you know, that's again, you're trading the cheap crap, which is, you know, not something you really most of the time don't want to do. Now you could specialize in it, but again, would you put like $50 million in a bunch of cheap stuff? No, I mean, you just can't handle that. You, you can't, there's not enough liquidity. You can't get in it. You can't get out of it. Okay. Same thing. Buying out of the money singles, you got a theta burn and your probabilities are against you, which I just showed you. Okay. And DTE, if you're doing less days, well, what you're doing is what are you giving when you get a faster DTE? If you're a seller of options, if you're a seller of options and you got a fast DTE, well, what are you, what are you giving up? Price, you, you got more price risk that's coming in, which is comes into the gamma problem. Uh, as you start accelerating. it, So these are things to watch as you're starting to look uh, to people and starting to follow people. You know, you're starting to look at a lot of videos, probably mine and other people. It's fine. No problem. You, you learn from all sorts of sources. But at the end of the day, there's probably just a handful of guys out there that's actually teaching this stuff. That's actually, you know, really understand these concepts and know what they're talking about. And I will say the ones that I know that actually know this stuff, they actually don't have a big YouTube channel or following and so on. So uh, that's just because they're busy. We're busy. <laughs> anyway, long story short, these are some things to watch out for. I'll give you some insight. Watch out for these things. You know, stuff like day trading also kind of goes into this mix uh, because you're doing shorter duration, uh, but that's not options related. But again, you're day trading, you're doing quick things. Again, you wouldn't put like 20 or $50 million in a single day trade. It just doesn't make sense. Uh, but um, yeah. Those are some things to watch out for. Anyways, I hope that helps. Truly appreciate you joining me. Check out some of the freebies I've got um, for you on our website. And of course, the thing that I do is I work with people one-on-one -on -one mentoring because there's not a lot of people that do that, um, at least not at a good high level. And I uh, hope you join me. Check out the website and maybe we'll get a chance to work together for two months, three months, six months at a time and uh, really ramp things up for you. All right, thanks. And I'll see you next time.